Unprecedented numbers of migrants are entering Mexico, mostly from the south. They're fleeing violence and poverty in their homelands, made worse by the COVID-19 pandemic. Many hope to reach the United States. As a result, Mexican detention centers are overwhelmed, and record numbers of migrants seeking asylum in Mexico often wait more than six months and even up to a year to be processed. All across the country, shelters created specifically to provide housing and meals for migrants are filled far beyond capacity. The director of the largest migrant shelter in the Mexican border city of Reynosa, Hector Silva, says U.S. immigration policies are creating havoc all along Mexico's border with the United States. Now we are the ones facing the consequences. Many migrants hoped the U.S. would lift Title 42. Unfortunately, that was not the case. So we are left trying anything to solve this problem. Title 42 is a Trump-era policy that forces U.S. officials to deport migrants for health safety reasons due to the coronavirus pandemic. The measure, still being battled out in the courts, prevents migrants from applying for asylum in the United States. A leading migration expert in Mexico says that and other restrictive U.S. immigration policies, along with the arrival of record numbers of migrants from Latin America, Asia and Africa, has created the perfect storm. This is completely new. What makes it new is the complexity of the problem and the scale. This puts us in a completely different scenario. Mexican President Andrés Manuel López Obrador is urging the United States to open its doors to some of the hundreds of thousands of unemployed migrants. If there is no work for them in the South and the U.S. needs a labor force, why shouldn't we create labor agreements among regional governments? In the meantime, families of migrants, many traveling with young children, have no other choice but to wait in Mexico. Frank Contreras, CGTN, Mexico City.